unsealed court documents, broken bones in his neck, prison guards who weren't checking who would have been exposed, address cards, a thousand names in the address cards, still sealed. Think Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself? Well, you're wrong. He killed himself, people, and that's a fact. It's what we're told to believe, so you should believe it. New York state officials ruled his death a suicide by hanging. Now, I'll prove to you why we can definitely trust them, but first consider this. There's a strong precedence in history of powerful people killing themselves when even more powerful people have their agendas threatened, like when JFK killed himself. And then Lee Harvey Oswald, who didn't kill JFK, killed himself. And Martin Luther King killed himself. And here's a sketch of when President Lincoln committed suicide. Did powerful people who stood to lose all their money, status, and power, as well as be locked in prison for the rest of their lives, want Epstein dead? Absolutely not. On the contrary, Epstein was their only hope to relieve their guilty consciences. Every single one of these nearly thousand powerful people would have been terribly disappointed to find out Epstein killed himself. I'd imagine they sent their sincerest condolences to his family. Even if they wanted him dead, which wouldn't make any sense, he was in prison. There's no way they could have gotten to him to kill him. Epstein was in prison surrounded by murderers. It's not like they could just pay a murderer to murder someone, because I don't think murderers would do something like that. What some people think is odd is that court documents were unsealed that gave details about some of his crimes involving having underage girls provide sex to former New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson, U.S. Senator George Mitchell, and Prince Andrew. And then the very next day, Epstein killed himself. 100% by himself. Dead. At the time of his death, there was an ongoing investigation to make thousands of other pages of documents public involving an address book that allegedly involved over a thousand other names of people involved in his pedophile ring. Epstein just so happened to conveniently choose to kill himself while all this was going on? Now, admittedly, it looks a little fishy with all the motive that a thousand powerful people would have, but there's a perfectly good explanation for all of this. Mercury was in retrograde. Let's move on. One of the people that definitely wouldn't be named in the still sealed address book is Bill Clinton, who flew on Epstein's jet 26 times with him. I suspect old BC had to go to grief counseling when he found out Epstein took his own life. Willie Clinton has said he knows nothing of the terrible crimes Epstein was involved with. I believe him. I also believe him when he says, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. And when Clinton admitted he lied? Indeed, I did have a relationship with Miss Lewinsky that was not appropriate. I didn't believe him. I still don't. I think the only time he lied is when he admitted to lying. He was clearly self-sacrificing in the most altruistic way possible to better serve the American people by lying about lying. And given that he has a precedence for lying, I think it's a pretty safe bet that that's the only time he lied. And I think we all know Clinton was a president with very little interest in sex, so it doesn't add up that he'd have any association with Epstein or anything to gain with his death. So for the record, the Clinton body count remains at 50, not 51. To the conspirators, why would the prison staff allow a murder? They definitely wouldn't. Consider the fact that the whole prison system is run in a for-profit way that exploits incarceration rather than providing rehabilitation in order to improve their bottom line, and therefore the whole prison system is kind of criminal human trafficking in and of itself. So I'm sure the fine folks that run the corrupt prison system wouldn't be open to corruption in the form of enormous payoffs by some of the most powerful people in the world in order to eliminate the one man, Epstein, who could strip them of all their power and freedom if he snitched because of In God We Trust, the Pledge of Allegiance, and other things that give us blind faith and authority outside of ourselves. Back to the trustworthy New York officials that ruled Epstein's death suicide by hanging. 
Now what makes their job complex is Epstein was supposed to be checked on by guards every 30 minutes. But this wasn't happening for some reason. Probably because the prison guards are so spiritually advanced that they don't believe in time. And there were two security cameras outside of Epstein's cell. But oddly enough, both cameras were somehow broken. <laughs> what are the odds? But remember, Mercury was in retrograde, so apparently the odds were 100%. And that, of course, explains the irregularities. So if the guards were doing their job and the cameras weren't broken, then the New York Examiner would have eyewitness proof and video evidence that Epstein definitely killed himself. And there would be no controversy. But to make matters worse, Epstein's brother hired a second examiner to do another autopsy, and they found broken bones in his neck that are much more consistent with someone being strangled to death rather than hanging themselves. What? It's very inconvenient that his brother would do this. First, there is no need to get a second opinion in a very suspicious, high-profile death of someone who could ruin the lives and reputation of a thousand of the world's most powerful people, some of which have probably given money to New York State officials. Second, you can trust New York State officials when they say it's a suicide by hanging, because there's no reason why you can't trust them. You know what it is? Epstein's brother is conspiring to make his death look like a murder instead of a suicide because he doesn't want a suicide to bring shame to the family. Because killing himself is obviously the most shameful thing Epstein's ever done, and his brother doesn't want people to know about it so it doesn't ruin the great reputation that the family name has. And that proves we can trust the New York medical examiners when they say Epstein killed himself. Epstein case is closed. Go back to sleep. Any other questions? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you can feel annoyed each time I release a new video. And also for my tour schedule for my live comedy shows, check out my website for cities and dates. I'm going all over the place. You can find that via the link in the description below.